This video is brought to you by Storyblocks. Net, and I'm so sad right now because I just drank a sad potion. Oh god, no. Ah, that's so sad. Everything is just so sad right now. Ah. Welcome to Copycat Friday, a weekly series in which we recreate an effect from a famous film or popular music video. And today we are having a look at When the Party is Over from Billie Eilish, in which you can see her crying with black tears. And oh boy, this hasn't been easy. Today was the hardest visual effect that we've ever pulled off. You know, this morning we were all thinking to abandon the idea and just make an apology video. But luckily, we don't have to do that. As far as the post-production goes, it's pretty easy. But the system to get those black tears... In other words, we made a ton of mistakes so that you don't have to. Billie Eilish has blue hair, so that means I'm gonna dye my hair. Is it blue yet? Shield. Someone changed the cap of this hairspray. This is no blue, it's yellow. Janik just came back from the store replacing the yellow dye with blue, so now we are ready to go. Here's take two. My precious hair. Let's go back inside. The set has been built, we're now ready to shoot. But first, a big shout out to Storyblocks, which is an online library filled with high quality stock clips, After Effects templates, transitions, overlays, and so much more. Every day, new video assets are being added to the library, which comes from fellow creators. So not only are you getting unlimited downloads for a single price per year, but you're also supporting other creators just like you. To find out more, make sure to click the first link in the description below. Now here's what you're gonna need to pull off the effect. The black liquid, which we're getting into in just a moment, comes through tubes. These are thin, flexible tubes, which you can find in any pharmacy or local DIY shop. With some skin glue, you can make them stick to your foreheads. This is also a very easy to find glue in any local shop. Now here comes the very first mistake that we've done, and this was with the positioning of the tubes. The further away you place them from your eyes, the easier it's gonna be to remove them in post but the liquid won't come into your eyes. And that is important if you want to make it seem like real tears. So that means we're gonna have to put the tubes very close to my eyes. And this is gonna give complications when trying to remove them. You see, removing the tubes on your forehead is super easy as it's flat. But once you get into the curve of your nose, you're dealing with a change in perspective. And this means you're gonna have to do a 3D mesh tracking, which After Effects even can't do. So you're dealing with something pretty complicated, which we honestly don't have enough experience in. So that brought us to a different idea, which is actually super easy. The black liquid that flows through the tubes into my eyes is called eye blood and can be found in local carnival or makeup shops. And it is very important that you use a substance that is allowed to be poured into your eyes. If you can't find the eye blood or it's too expensive, you can also use milk. We did several tests with it first and it looks pretty good. Milk can be poured into your eyes without any problems. So behind me sat Janik, who was injecting the black liquid through the tubes. And my role was now to sit as still as possible, eliminating the change in perspective. You can move your head a little bit, but don't move it around too much. On the tubes itself, we also placed two pieces of tape with a marker dot into it. And these are called tracking marks and are going to help us to remove the tubes later on. Then after you've got it, we're also going to make a shot of me without the tubes. Just take up the same position as you did before and film it for a few seconds. These are the two shots that you'll need. We can now fire up After Effects. You can already start by placing your crying shot into a new composition. 
With the layer selected, head over to the tracker window. If you can't find it, then go to the menu on top, select window, and from here you can see the tracker. From that tracker window, we're going to click on track motion. We're now going to say to also track the position, the rotation, and the scale. And this will give you two tracking points, which you want to place over each dot. For a better tracking result, you might want to increase the outer square a little bit. Once they sit in place, you can click the Analyze Forward button. After Effects will now calculate your movement. And once the tracker is done, we're going to create a Null Object. Go to the menu, Layer, New, and choose Null Object. This will add a new layer to your composition. A Null Object doesn't do anything, but we can use it to store the tracking data in. So from your tracker window, click on Edit Target, and make sure that Null is selected. After that, just press Apply. If everything went well, the Null Object should now stick to your forehead. Now let's bring in the other shot into the composition. Look for a point where you sit straight, and then right-click onto your clip, go to Time, and choose Freeze Frame. Next, go up to the toolbox and take the pen tool. With this tool, we can draw a mask on your forehead and the tubes near your eyes. Once your mask is complete, you can move the individual points to cover up everything. This mask has been applied as a property into your layer, so by hitting F on your keyboard, it will open up the feather option from that mask. Increase that a little bit to soften the edges so that your mask won't be visible. You can now go ahead to reposition and scale the clip to make it align. And the only thing left to do now is take the Pick Whip tool next to the layer and drag it to the null object. By doing this, we're connecting the shot without the tubes to the tracking data. And that's all there is to it. It was super fun recreating this effect, amazing work from the crew behind the music video and of course great performance from Billie Eilish. Thank you all so much for watching, thank you Storybox for the support. Right now I'm gonna wash my hair, but first up, stay creative. So since it's the idea to fill up this entire vase or mug, <laughs> I just put in all the coffee pads inside and I'm going to throw hot water into it. I think that is going to be faster than pouring it all through SMCO.